Hello, Mrs. Um here, and um, I supposed to make this video ages ago, but it kept being, you know, reminded of me and requested that I do this video because I promised to do it. So here it is, and since the movie Ouija Ouija board is coming out this month. This is a perfect opportunity to tell my experiences on the Ouija board. How is actually not a game? Now, the comments going to be disabled for right now until I'm ready to open the comments up. But telling them for right now, they're going to be disabled. Okay. When I was 18, I went over a friendly, family friend of mine's home, right, house. Um, her auntie bought her a Ouija board game. She had a friend across the street. Her friend was Native American. And she proclaimed herself to be an expert of the game because her, her family got the Ouija board. You know, and she's like the expert. Me and his family friend didn't know what the hell we were doing. Okay. I was at that confused period where, you know, back then it was it was a lot of crazy things going on in my life back then. But anyway, we played the game. Well, it's not a game. Um... I've seen before then, I've seen movies about the Ouija board, so I know deep down the side, I knew it was wrong to play this stuff and tamper with spirits and things like that. I didn't know anything about warfare at that age. It wasn't taught to me or whatever like that. Didn't go to that type of church that believe, really believe in warfare. But um, I did believe in like spirits and demons that exist because before then... You know, I've seen them throughout my childhood and, and, you know, my young years. But anyway, that may sound crazy, but yes, I have seen um, spirits before. Yes, but that's another story. Anyway, we both put our hands on the um, the little um, the guide, the, the thing that moves around. I forgot the t technical uh what it's called but um the so-called expert uh said something like is or are you here or something like that and the thing moved it like didn't move by itself but it like it started to move like slowly we wasn't moving it it was like actually moving so um the 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 girl she asked the spirit what its name was it spelled out the name Reginald right and we was just asking it like different questions like what year did you die you know did, did you did you die did, what year did you die whatever like that supposedly this spirit Reginald claimed he died in the 1800s right he said 18, 18, 15, or something like that. So, then um, someone asked, do, do, you know, do this, this Reginald spirit, which is a demon, <laughs> um, know anybody from this table? The, the thing said yes. And... Then they asked, who do you know? This spirit spelled out my name. Freaked me out. Spelled out my name, right? I say, oh, snap. I don't think I want to play this game anymore. But, you know, I, I pressed on. We, I think we had to finish until we, like, we had to finish it out and, and close the gate or whatever like that. You got to. Wait till the spirit leaves or something like that. So, um, 
If you hear any purring, that's the cat. Um, so, they asked, well, where are you, where are you at now? Um, no, um, the, the, this, keep in mind, this happened when I was 18, so I'm trying to vaguely remember, I just, I remember cer certain points like that. I do remember the thing kept moving vigorously, like, like, it was like the spirit was getting mad or something. I forgot what was asked, but the spirit was getting mad, like, agitated. Um... I think the, the the girl asked, was um the spirit standing next to me or behind me? The thing said yes. The spirit was like the thing was like getting agitated. The thing kept moving, moving, moving to the point where our bodies was like moved along with it. We had to keep our hand on it. We try to keep our hand on the thing, but the thing literally the thing could have moved by itself without us touching it. That's how vigorously it was like moving. We was moving it. The spirit was. So. Okay. The spirit supposedly had left. Said goodbye. You got to wait till it say goodbye or something like that. That's not the end of it y'all. Let me on that night. I went home pretty late. I think I got home around. Around 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. Okay. This was when um, my mom was still alive then. My mom was still alive. So, um, got myself ready, went on to bed. How about this? And usually my, um, we keep the, um, bathroom light on. I think my father was downstairs watching television. My mama was in the bathroom. I remember, you know, because the bat, the way my room was, it was my parents' room, my room, my room was closer to the bathroom, so she would have to cross, you know, walk across my room door to get to the bathroom. Okay. So, I already knew she was in the bathroom already, right? And you could kind of, like, see the light from the um, the bathroom door. It was like slightly open or whatever like that. Cause my dad was downstairs, so it was just us two upstairs. So next thing you do, my door shut. <sighs> my door shut by itself. Right? Y'all, y'all might think I'm crazy. This really, this actually happened. I wasn't sleep. I was getting ready to go to sleep. And before my door closed by itself, I could remember seeing stuff, little stuff happening in my room. Like, I had some clothes, like, on the chair, like, like, like just, you know, sitting on the chair. And I could remember, it looked like something was moving it. Like, it was jumping up and down or something. Like, something was, like, pulling on it. And I'm like, what the hell is going on here, right? Then the door closed shut. Just closed shut. I said, oh my God. I knew that wasn't my mother. Deep down inside, I knew that wasn't my mom. I was hoping it was her that closed that door. I knew it wasn't. I knew it was, must have been a spirit in my room. And I heard these like clunk they the footsteps sound like men footsteps and it was like it sound like um like one of them heavy boots like them real heavy heavy I mean heavier than maybe still toe boots them heavy men boots you hear clunk 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 and I and, and, and I could, you could feel the like I could feel the vibration of the footsteps I kid you not, I could feel the vibration of footsteps. I really, my room was dark. 
nothing but a little bit of the light from the bathroom, from the hallway. And the only thing, I, I, I try not to look at it, but at a glance, it looked like it was a man, like a, um, like a, a dark figure with like a, a black, a long black trench coat and a hat. That's the only thing I could, like, as far as peeking, peeking through my cousin, I was scared. So, and the footsteps got closer and closer to my, the foot of my bed and stopped. How about it felt like a hand grabbed my ankle. I kid you not, y'all. The, the, the hand, the spirit grabbed my ankle. I got up and ran out that room so freaking fast. I I thank God whatever it was didn't like throw me back on the bed or whatever like that. I was so freaking scared, y'all. This actually happened. This was not a dream. I ran out my room and closed the door. I saw my mom in the bathroom. She was smoking her little cigarette, you know, sitting on the toilet, so smoking her cigarette. I said, Mom, uh, did you close my door? She said, I thought you did. Oh, my God, I was so free, y'all. I was so free. I ran my ass downstairs and slept on that couch. My dad was still watching TV. I slept right on that couch. Under covers. I ain't sleep in my room for a month. Real talk. I did not sleep in my room for a whole entire month. I was scared of going in. My dad was like, what's wrong with you? You act you like you saw a ghost or something. I ain't say nothing. I ain't say nothing. I ain't even tell them I was playing with a Ouija board. Because they would have got on me. They were like, you know, you know better than to play with that, that stuff. I was curious. And I was stupid. Okay, let me tell y'all, it is not a game. Don't play with it. It is not a game. If you ain't ready to see spirits up in your house and opening up gates to stuff that you don't want to see, don't play with that game. Don't. Please don't. I'm, I'm, t I'm pleading with you. Don't. Because <laughs> it ain't what you want. You may call me crazy. You may say, oh, Mrs. M bugging the fuck out. You tripping. I don't believe it. But I'm telling you my experiences of what happened. It ain't a game, y'all. It ain't a game. So, um, I don't, I don't know. I guess, you know, <laughs> I didn't encounter that spirit since then. I, my, my mom probably took the oil and prayed or something like that. <laughs> I don't know what had happened after that, but all I know is I ain't sleeping in that room in a month. I was trying to sleep in that room. I wasn't even trying to look in that room. I was scared to go in there, but I had to because my clothes was in there. <sighs> oh, boy. <laughs> but anyway, um, that is my experience on the Ouija board. Um. Me playing around with the Ouija board at, at 18. It's not a game, y'all. It's not a game. Well, see you in the next video.